This week's feast. Super spicy curry. This week we're finally making Kirby's super spicy curry and I'm joined by the one, the only, Chef Kawasaki. How do you guys do? I've never made curry before. Or have you eaten it? How does that work? I guess I didn't grow up in an ethnically diverse household when it comes to cuisine. What was your favorite food growing up? Pickles! <laughs> that counts, right? Pickles yeah. Pickles are its own food group. Did you survived off pickles? Man, you have no idea. But I've never had curry before, so I'm really excited yeah. to dig into this recipe. Curry's great. It's in Japanese culture, Thai culture, Chinese culture, Indian American culture. culture, Indian culture. You're like the best chef, because you're the only chef in this town, so. Yes. I think you're gonna do a great job. Yes. I believe in you. Yes. And you believe in you too. Yes. So let's get cooking. Yes. Kirby's super spicy curry first made its appearance in Kirby's Dreamland as an item that temporarily gave Kirby the ability to spit hot fire and really made its presence known in the Kirby anime where it came to be known as the Toxic Atomic Curry. Chef Kawasaki, not necessarily known for his cooking skills, accidentally brewed it up and the results were heated to say the least. The super spicy curry is a recurring element across the Kirby universe, most recently as an item in the Super Smash Bros. series. So let's get to making our curry. Begin by preparing the ingredients. Skin and cut up the potatoes, dice the onions, chop up the carrots, mince the garlic, and cut the chicken up into chunks. And now for the most important ingredient, the spiciest peppers you can find. If you can handle it, you should use a ghost pepper. We ended up using Thai peppers, which are also pretty darn hot. Now the inside of these peppers will burn anything to come into contact with, so we recommend putting on some gloves before handling. Dice them up and chop them into tiny bits and set aside. Heat vegetable oil in a pan and begin sauteing the onions. Add in the garlic, mix it all together, and allow it to soften for a few minutes. Add in your garam masala, curry powder, cardamom, cinnamon stick, and bay leaf, and stir until the ingredients are evenly coated. Then add in your water and chicken and cook until the meat is about half finished. Mix in your potatoes and carrots and combine. Cover with a lid and cook on medium-low heat for another 20 to 30 minutes. Once the liquid has been reduced, pour in your coconut milk and stir it all together. Now let's add in more curry flavor with this extra hot Japanese curry roux. Mix it in with your spicy peppers and keep stirring until it all has melted. For that final super spicy effect, we're going to flambe the whole mixture by pouring a little brandy on top and allowing it to bubble before lighting it, and BAM! That is one super spicy curry. It's so hot, it's literally on fire. Now we're ready to serve this curry on a bed of rice, and voila, you've made Kirby's super spicy curry. Not for the faint of heart, this will light your mouth on fire if you're not careful. So just make sure you have a glass of milk nearby. All right, Ash, are you ready for your first curry ever? I show sure am. Thank you, Chef Kawasaki for your hard work. Don't forget, mix it with the rice. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Mix it with the rice. So hopefully it'll be a little less spicy. Mm -hmm. Yum! Oh, that yeah, is spicy. that is spicy. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow, that's great. Curry is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, not soup. It's like this amazing topping you can put on any rice dish. It's like Asian chili. There you go. Yeah. That, that's what it oh. reminds me of. My God, that's spicy. That's pretty delicious. But you know what they say about spice. It's addictive, mm. which means you're going to be addicted to this. I am addicted to this. Hey, first time chef in a curry dish. You did a great job. Wow. This is delish, if I do say so myself. Mm. Did you know, Ash, that human beings are the only creature on this planet to purposely eat spicy food? Hmm. I did not know that. Wait a minute, you're acting like it's readily available to animals? It is, but the reason they're spicy is so the animals don't eat them. It's a survival tactic. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So we are defying life right now by eating this, right? <laughs> and nature. And nature. Oh my god. There's like chunks of carrots in here, it's so good. Yeah. Whoa, milk. <sighs> like Jimmy brought his own jug of milk to set today. Hey. <laughs> no one else is drinking it. Nobody else is going to now. Notably, I'm lactose intolerant, so that's maybe all I'll ever drink of that milk. What? Really? <laughs> you just wasted a whole jug of milk. Beast, well done. High five? Yes. Chef Kawasaki is perfect for you, by the way, because you're Japanese. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> He's got a little bit better of a tan than I do. Yeah. But 
There's always hope. I guess I have to turn in this shade if I really want to be Kirby. You're yellow. You'll never be that shade. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And let us know what you want to see us make next in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Bye. We gotta get rid of all the breath first. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. That sound is horrendous. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, it burns. Oh my god, it's burning your nasal cavity, probably. Yeah. Why would you do that? I'm Kirby. For the sake of Kirby. For the sake of you guys. Why would you make him do that? Oh my god. Kirby, Take the red that. nose. Puffball. Hilarious. Oh.